num is 7. Evaluating this expression raises it to the power of 3 and gives us the result. Let's ask the user for an expression in terms of x. Ok, and now for the value of x. And now evaluate this. This is equal to 7419. Say we have two functions, double and triple. They double and triple values. Let's ask the user what to do. Triple, ok. And what number to triple? 8. Ok. Let's make a call to choice which is triple with the value 8. And when we evaluate this, we have 24. Best Complements Write a function that takes a binary string, adds 1 to it, then returns its 1's complement. This function takes a string of zeros and 1's. If it doesn't begin with 0b, this concatenates that to it, otherwise not. It evaluates this and adds 1, then converts it into a string, evaluates that, and carries out a 1's complement on it, and returns that. 0b triple 1 is binary for 7, so 7 becomes 8, and 1's complement of 8 is minus 9. Triple 1 works the same, and 0 is for 0, so it gives us 1's complement of 1, which is minus 2. Pocket interpreter. Write a function that acts as an interpreter that quits on feeding by to it. This is the interpreter function. It prints out a prompt and keeps the cursor on the same line. It gets an expression from the user. If this is the word by, it breaks out of this pocket interpreter. If not, it reaches the next statement. It evaluates the expression and prints the result. And then it makes a call to itself so the user gets another prompt. Let's make a call to interpreter. So this is what it looks like. We have a prompt right here. Let's try addition. Modulus. This works fine for calculations. And now exit the pocket interpreter.